guys welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you my mascara and brow collection and I'm going to tell you like a brief description about each product and what I think of it so I'm going to start with this one at the end this is um, from Wander Beauty unlashed it's kind of interesting because it's in like a tube container which I kind of like because I feel like I've been running low on product and I could kind of mush the product into the the wand. I don't know. This is, I got this at a BoxyCharm, but they do sell this at Sephora for around $20. Um, the wand is like a natural bristle with a curved shape, which is supposed to help with curl. I like it. I think it's a decent mascara. This one is Grande Mascara Lash Boosting Formula. I received this in a BoxyCharm as well. That's where I get most of my mascaras. Um, I think this is okay. It has a natural bristle wand, except for the wand is kind of small. So I feel like it doesn't like really comb through all my lashes. But I do like the formula of this. I think it's nice. And then this is the Double Decker Lashes by Butter London. I also received this in a boxy charm. This retails for around $22, $24. I think it's okay. It has um, a natural bristle wand, which is more of a bigger wand. My favorite type of wand for mascara is natural bristle. This one's kind of getting old, kind of starting to dry out, so I'll have to throw this in my empties bin soon. And then this is the Superhero It Cosmetics. I really like this, but what I noticed about this product is that sometimes, like, a lot of the mascara, like, goops up around the wand. And if I clean it off with a tissue, it starts to work nice again. So if you ever notice you're getting real clumpy on uh, mascara, try doing that. Wipe it off with some tissue. And, I don't know, this helped this one work better for me. And I don't know if I said this, I received this in a boxy charm as well. Okay, now I have these two Wet n Wild. It came in a set. It's um, Prime and Seal. First you put the coat of mascara on, and then you put the lash fibers, which are, they look like little pieces of cotton. If you have contact or packs or really sensitive eyes, I would avoid these types of mascara products. Because I find it, it could be irritating, especially if it gets in your eye. But after you do the fibers, then you reapply a coat of mascara. And when I first got it, it did help. It definitely, I felt like it did make a difference in making my lashes longer. But this product's starting to get old, so I'll have to get rid of this one soon too. And that retailed for $7.99, I think, for the pair. And then this is my CoverGirl Super Sizer. This is a water, uh, waterproof formula. I purchased this because Emily Noel, this is like one of her favorites. I do like using it in the summertime, like a waterproof mascara. If I go to like, I don't know, amusement park or the beach or something. And I know it sounds crazy, but I wear makeup all year long. Um... I might do a light bit of makeup, but I do wear it. I do like my mascara, so that's what I like to wear waterproof for. This wand is more of like a plastic spiky. I'm not a huge fan, and when I first bought this, this was a very wet formula, but now that it's more dried out, I, I like it more now. And then this is just a primer, a L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. It comes out white. You're supposed to put this on before mascara and it's supposed to like help condition your lashes and like after you put mascara on make your lashes look thicker and longer. I don't know. I think it kind of works. <laughs> and this this is a Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara. I think this mascara is terrible. It's like nothing. There's like no product in here. I don't know. Or at least it doesn't come translate onto my lashes. So I, I do not recommend this at all. So that's all my mascaras. And then these are my brow products, which I am not one to really do my brows a lot, so I don't own a lot. I have the Alta 
brow tint in medium. I like this. I feel like it distributes a lot of product. With these types of brow mascaras, like the tinted, I actually like it when they're kind of running low on product so it's not so much on my brow. Because I feel like when you first buy these type of products, a lot gets distributed onto your brows and it could get like too much too fast. <laughs> but I like it. I think it's decent. And then this is the Brow Gale. I got this in a boxy charm. This is like has um it's a tinted brow gel with microfibers. So if you have like thinner eyebrows, it's supposed to like add fibers. I never really noticed anything. But I really like this product. I think it looks it makes my brows look nice. I actually used it today. And then I have the Wet n Wild um retractable retractable brow pencil. I believe this is an ash brown. It, this is nice because it has a spoolie on one end. And then the pencil part, it's not super thin. Like, if you have barely their brows, I know people like to have this super thin tip so they can, like, draw in brow hairs. This isn't like that. It has, like, the triangular uh, pencil shape. And then this is um, Shella Tantalizing Taupe eyebrow cream so the one end has kind of like a pomade and then the other end has kind of like a a little brush and you take off both caps and you dip into the one side I received this in a boxy charm I think it's nice the product is kind of like a cooler tone product which I like I don't like anything too warm I don't know I think it's decent I honestly don't know why I purchased this this is a brow shaper. It's just like a wax um, from Wet n Wild. I guess if I filled in my brows with like a powder and then put the wax over to set it, this would be a good product for that. But I never do that. But I think I should try, try that. Because I have a lot of eyeshadows and I could probably, I don't know, experiment and see how it would work. And then I have the Iconic London Cushion. I received this in a boxy charm. This one, this product retails for forty dollars, which is crazy. Um, I'm trying to open it. It's a cushion product. This is in the shade medium, so it's kind of dark. I would say if you have like darker brows, darker hair, but there's two shades, like a darker, like a medium brown, and then a darker brown. But what's cool about this product, it has a little spoolie and a little brush. So I think it's neat for travel. I think it's cool. But would I ever buy, pay $40 for brow product? No. <laughs> okay, so that is my collection. Next, for my collection series, I'm going to show my eyeliners which includes like pencils it includes liquid uh, like pen eyeliners and then the gel like pot eyeliners I'm just gonna show all of them all right guys I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon bye